Today we're going to talk about attachment shoes. Um, I toyed with calling them attachment or acceptance shoes. So I'm still not 100% sure because really we need to be donning our acceptance shoes. But we've got attachment shoes on that are so strapped on that we don't want to take them off. And when we take them off and we can put on our acceptance shoes... That's when we actually find the peace. <laughs> so, you know, um, I've already spoken about how the Buddhists talk about um, all suffering is in, in attachment. And it really is. It's, it's, it is that whole thing. It's like um, the more stuff we have, it seems, you know, that we're so absorbed in this material world, dare I say, that, you know, we get attached to too many things that are outside of ourselves. It's that whole thing of outside making us happy inside. And my whole thing is the reverse of that. It's like you are you only get to be happy when you stop filling the hole with stuff, with things, with be it a relationship, be it with a fancy car, with a big house, um, you know, with the beautiful clothes, with a beautiful partner, with the beautiful kids, with the, everything that's outside of you, you know. Um, and what lands up happening is we get real attached to all that stuff. And I think in a way, dare I say, um, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with having things. It's just that when we become so attached to it, that's where the discord arises. So, for example, I think that pandemic in an odd way and i'm not saying it was a great way to have to learn it either it's a quite a hard way to learn actually a tough lesson for many people um and a tough ex i don't know if it's a lesson but more like a tough experience that there was a whole lot of people who were doing really really well and and just cruising through life but it kept them should I say superficially spiritual on a spiritual level at the superficial level does that make sense in the sense that because they weren't challenged they didn't stretch they didn't have their stretch shoes on they didn't have their flexibility shoes on they didn't have that oh boy I have to stretch outside my comfort zone to be bigger better a better version of myself kinder to people whatever the, whatever it is okay um, and as I, you know, I've mentioned to you before, it's like a seed. A seed is put in the ground and it grows and, it, and it's supposed to grow and flourish into something bigger and better. Now, whilst some might argue, yes, I know I had lots of golden fruit hanging off my, my tree. The, the thing is, it, it was all sort of external stuff, wasn't it? It's like you know the branches and uh, the trunk and everything is it hollow or is it a tree of life that is aligned with the source energy that is blossoming and growing in a way that's going to support and nurture not just on a material level but on a spiritual level as well you know where we're, we're aligned so um i think the pandemic really rattled a lot of cages for a lot of people because you know where they were materially all sweet and kosher suddenly boom they got taken out by that and it took three years and so people lost homes they lost their cars they lost their status they lost their power they lost their position they lost their you know uh, some people more than others you know there were families that both of the parties where that got affected so not ideal i mean definitely not ideal i'm not saying that we should you know have that oh please lord no you know we don't need that experience ever again please um but it what the from a spiritual perspective i suppose you could be saying is is why was that lesson necessary why why did we attract that into our earthly experience you know so my mind does go there it goes like you know when stuff rocks up in in my life and i go i don't i didn't want that <laughs> i did not want you in my life i'm not liking you in my life go away i go why did they come into my life what's my lesson that i could learn real quick so that i don't have to have this person in my life anymore and as fast as possible can I get them out um, 
it could be that or it could be this experience that's happening it's just like why did we have to have that happen like you know are we getting to the point where we're too material we're too superficial that is this in a way you know sources message to go you, this is time for you to self-correct you guys are getting out of control <laughs> like you know you need to realign here you 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 it's it's becoming too much of the the material the too much of the superficial the too much of the ego driven uh life um and does it mean that you don't have a nice car and you don't have a nice house and you don't live well and you don't you know you don't provide absolutely not absolutely not what I'd love to have it is where, you know, I, I love Eckhart Tolle's way of saying it. He says, you know, he, if he has the Mercedes, he enjoys it for as long as he can. Um, if it's there, it's there. But if it's not, then he'll take the, he'll ride his bike. And, and when he means his bike, he means his bicycle, not his motorbike. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow, you know, you're not attached, man. Like that is so unattached. He's happy, irrespective of his circumstances and that is something that I've always it was one of my biggest learnings that I got I think it was from Wayne Dwyer you know um, happy irrespective of the circumstances if we could get to a space where whether you've got it or not it doesn't matter you know um, like you know sometimes friends say to me for example oh you know where do you want to eat and I go well I'm not really fussed. I'm in it for the company, you know, that's where I'm at, you know, so we can go anywhere if it's for a scone or a biscuit or just the straight up cup of tea or if it's for a fancy meal, you know, and I will love every minute of it, no matter what it is, because <laughs> I eat food um, and I love it. And yes, yeah, so that's one of my vices that I always have to keep on top of. Um, but it is that whole thing of don't get attached. And how do you know when you're too attached? When you have extreme reactions. So if you get really upset about something, it's because you're attached to it. So if somebody comes along, and remember I was telling you, you know, oh yes, I'm gonna talk about uh, my meaning of life video, which I'm gonna add to the emotional resilience toolkit, because that's really critical when you get if you can really accept that lesson i tell you what your whole life is it, it's it's a whole different ball game you certainly see life in a in a whole different way you accept life in a whole different way it makes life a lot easier i would highly recommend that you get that once it's live um on online um through the the shopping cart when the guys finish it um and it's a game changer because it really helps you to not get so attached. So when you're having a top reaction, like a major reaction, it's because, you know, you have an expectation that is not being met. And it's normally because you're attached to that outcome. Why are you so attached to that outcome? I want it to be a different way. I want that person to behave a different way. I'm attached to my, you know, fancy house. And if you lost the house, could you, wouldn't it be so much, how emotionally resilient would you be if whether you had that house or not, it make no difference. You love it if you've got it. Be like Eckhart Tolle. It's like, if you've got the Mercedes bonus, I'm not going to complain, baby. <laughs> Bring that on, attract it. Yeah. But if you don't have it, don't let it rock your world. Don't let it rock your world. Don't have it where it's like, I actually... Um, almost to the point of being dysfunctional or, I, you know, people being suicidal because, you know, that it affects their identity sometimes. And, you know, we've had this in the Great Depression um, where people, men, you know, uh, were, were throwing themselves off buildings and stuff because they had a, you know, their status, their, what their identity had been challenged. They were attached to that identity. They were attached to... I am the provider and if I cannot provide therefore I am not worthy and I should not be living so they you know they were all the chronic suicides chronic drinking and you know this is one of the reasons I think the pandemic really rattled a lot of people because it made them go inwards and go you know and it challenged their their fake identity whereas if you really are aligned with who you are 
it doesn't matter what you have you're a beautiful person people will gravitate towards you whether you've got pots of money or not people will gravitate to you yes or no you know if you're a wonderful kind and loving person people you will be in a loving and kind relationship hope or hopefully but people will gravitate to you yes or no yes of course they will you know will your kids love you whether you've got 10 million dollars or 10 dollars you know they might want to have because they're attached to stuff but when they get that at the end of the day they just want to they just want to be with their mum or dad or you know with their sibling but a loving family like tops any amount of money that you got in the bank right so it's it's letting go of attachment and putting on your acceptance shoes um and accepting that it is just what it is um and and being okay with that maybe a, you know it's the attachment is the thing that causes the suffering and when you let it go when you can put your let it go shoes on and you just go i can't change it am i going to get upset about it yes or no you have the choice the power to choose okay and that power to choose is really critical so um that might be another video that i do um because that is all about what you're going to decide and how you're going to react and when you decide i am not going to be attached and i'm going to make the most of what i do have and oh my gosh i didn't realize i was actually way more richer than i ever thought i was because i've got a loving family i've got amazing friends and you know i've i've had a fantastic life even if i i can't travel now i've been to amazing places the attitude of gratitude carries you through and that acceptance when you can get rid of the attachment shoes and you accept truly accept what is and then you get grateful for what you've had and what you've got you're richer than you've ever been right you know you're never going to get richer than that because we come into this world with nothing you know we literally come into the we got we don't even have clothes on our back you know we pop out and we're naked <laughs> naked as the day you were born that's what we say don't we and we and we go and if, and eventually we can't take one red cent with us guys you know so being attached to all the stuff is you know it can be torturous so lose the torture by being not attached just take the attached shoes off um, and when you accept that we are you know this is where we're at and we can align with who we truly are um you're free you're free from all of that that suffering and and, and it's joyful and it is liberating it really is it takes a lot of pressure off it takes a lot of pressure off anyway i hope you found that useful get rid of those attachment shoes enjoy what you do have but just don't get too attached to it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying don't have stuff, don't enjoy stuff, you know. It's just that be like Eckhart, you know. If you've got if you've got the Mercedes, sweet. <laughs> but if you have a bike, then so what? And even if you don't have the bike, you'd be quite happy to walk, wouldn't you? You know, it's just making the most of what it is at the time. Happy irrespective of your circumstances. All right. Hope you found that useful, everyone. Namaste.